Hi guys, today we're looking at another product from Wakeco. This one's called the Nano Vessel and it's an accessory for the Nano Presso. So all of you guys that have watched my previous videos and have gone out and treated yourself to a Nano Presso, this could be your next purchase if you haven't already bought the Barista Kit, which is, I think, the number one accessory for the Nano Presso that I just could not live without. So what it is, is a vacuum insulated flask and uh, it's like a three in one flask. You can use it to drink your coffee from. You can use it to infuse tea. I don't think I'm ever gonna do that. Most importantly, it screws on to the underside of your Nano Presso. So you can do away with a plastic water tank and replace it with a proper stainless steel water tank. That means you don't have to preheat the water, which I think is fan dabby. <laughs> I think it's $24. I'll show you it on the website. $24.90. Oh, look at that. Claim your free gift. For the purchase of a portable espresso maker in our online store, we offer you our Barista Towels Pack. Here you go, guys. If you haven't already got a Nano Presso, grab one now and you'll get a Barista Towel Pack. If anyone's interested, I'll put links in the description. Some specifications. It's made from 304 stainless steel and it weighs 190 grams which isn't too bad really for a stainless steel flask. Water capacity, 210 grams. So you could make two double shot espressos and have some water just to preheat your cup if you wanted to or clean the Nano Presso after you've finished using it. In my case, I'd probably make a double shot espresso, um, preheat the cup uh, and add some water to the double shot to make a black Americano because uh, I quite like drinking that at the moment. Oh, you've got to see this coffee, look. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Mount Everest. I'm not sure how high up they went to grow these coffee beans, but that's what it says on the packet. Been drinking it the last few days. It's actually quite tasty. So I'll be using that. So I'm going to prepare a double shot basket because I'm going to be having this drink maybe in about three quarters of an hour's time. My normal setup is to take the standard case that fits the double shot ring and the small water tank because when I make a double shot, small water tank is a perfect amount of capacity for me. But on this occasion, I'm going to switch out for this, which is the longest version of the case. This case allows me to attach the larger water tank because I want that because I can take two baskets look at that they fit in perfectly so I can take this bottom one off put this one on got my Bristol water tank which is going to be my cup two double shot baskets and that is going to drop inside this long case I think you've got to be a little bit careful that you don't overfill this. You want to take it to um, no higher than the top of the tea infuser because this has got a bit of depth to it. So if you fill that right to the top and then you try and screw that in, um, what you're going to do is just make the water overflow. It's ready to go in the bag. Now obviously I could take my cook kit with my alcohol stove and I've also got a pocket rocket and gas. So those would be my options if I was going hiking. Um, but if I was going out on a walk to the park with Baxter or a little trip outdoors, then this is ideal. It's going to be almost as hot as it was when I poured it from the kettle. So, let's do this. What? Bax, that is not a squirrel. Man, I put this on clean this morning. I tell you what I've just realised. If you're using the nano vessel instead of the water tank on the large barista kit, you can use the water tank and the cup as um, cups and because you can fit two double shot baskets in there that basically means all you need is the nano presso with the brister kit and the two baskets 
and the nano vessel and you can go out two of you one of you uses the external cup on the barista kit and the other one uses the water tank so that's good all I need now is a friend to bring along check out this mole attack on this rugby field one time when I was doing some walking meditation I decided to just stand next to a clump of mole holes and just wait to see if a mole would pop up I think they probably sense the vibration of your footsteps so I thought if I stand really still I'll catch one and uh, I stood there for about 20 minutes didn't come up I think Baxter might have been throwing a spanner in the works Cheers guys. That's nice. Not as warm as it would be if I would have preheated this. I'm going to add some more water from the nano vessel and make this into a, a black Americano. So that works so well and I've got just enough, I've got quite a bit left in there that I can use to rinse my cup out and my basket if I wanted to. So there you go guys, you can get a really nice espresso or Americano coffee without having to take an alcohol stove. Pretty awesome really. And you don't have to preheat the water tank either. Winter is an amazing time. You can have as much fun outdoors in the winter as you can in the summer. Well, better than the summer, because you've got all the insects in the summer. Mm, early spring, or, uh, late autumn, it's probably the, my favorite time of the year. But um, I do like winter as well, especially on a lovely, clear, cold day. You get such good sunlight, even though it's like lunchtime at the moment. I love how sun just bounces off moss, it looks beautiful, so velvety, look. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you soon. <sighs> Coffee beans from Mount Everest, who'd have thought it, eh? <laughs>